More than 2,500 athletes are expected to compete in Ironman Chattanooga on Sunday. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Many of those athletes will arrive early and will be training for the swim, bike, and run. And that means more people will be on the roads. Lauren St. Germain joins us now with what people behind the wheel and people running on the road need to remember. Lauren. Josh and Latricia, while some of this advice may seem obvious, with more people, more excitement, and more distractions, we want to offer tips for both drivers and runners. The scenic city, a beautiful place for people to enjoy the outdoors. Chad Varga is one of those outdoor enthusiasts and is the owner of Front Runner Athletics. Chattanooga is, is, is a great town to run in, but there is some issues at different areas in town with there not being sidewalks, not being places where you can get off the road and you have to run on the road. And that's where things can get kind of unsafe and you really need to be aware of your surroundings. And Officer Simmons with the Chattanooga Police Department says that's not just the runner's job, but also the drivers. We, we definitely need to be aware that there are runners who will use the road, especially when there's no sidewalks. As far as the drivers, um, sometimes they'll veer off the road and you can see that, that they're distracted. Varga, a runner for 30 years, offers the tips he uses and the rules of the road. Usually what you try to do is stay on the sidewalk if there is one. You face traffic while you're running. Varga says stay as far right as possible. If you have a distracted driver, then, then you're way off. If they have to catch themselves, you're way off the side of the road. Officer Simmons and Varga say if you can help it, avoid running when it's dark outside. If you're running at dusk or after dark, you want to usually have a strobe light in the front and the back so the drivers can see you from both directions and wear a top that has some reflectivity. A lot of times it's around the, the front and back of the heel um, and then oftentimes they'll put it along the sides of the shoe. A tip Officer Simmons uses himself. I wear a reflective vest and I have shoes that have reflective stripes on them so they get caught up in the headlights. With Iron Man this Sunday, remember there will be a lot more traffic than normal downtown along with all those people running and walking. We have more information on road closures this weekend on our website newschannel9.com. Josh.